easy. Show y'all how these orders look. <clears throat> Let me show y'all what manifesting your dreams and your destiny look like and just wet loaded look like too man i'm about to show y'all what loaded fully look like <laughs> where did my boy bankroll friend so we just came out the vinyl shop picking up more blanks and more apparel right so y'all see this van coming to life man van life man <laughs> what it is nation i just had to show y'all this before i even get back to the town man look at this bags on bags we got bags on the hill with blank bag on the hill with blank another bag with a blank uh, with blanks. We got another trash bag with blanks. Another trash bag with blank. Look at this. Crazy, right? So I literally just manifested this and we gonna speak on it when I get back. I just had to show y'all the bags right quick before I did. But yeah, man. We loaded fully today. Hella orders. Couple more stops to make. Aviva was one of the last stops. Time to get some food. Y'all see the van coming to light, bro. The business is doing well, you know, all my clients coming back. But yeah, like I said, when we get back, I'm gonna tell y'all what I mean by manifesting this and how many, uh, you know, let y'all know how much we made off this order, what we about to do with this order and what I'm about to build with this brand. So yeah, stay tuned y'all, we getting ready, man. Mobile print life. Everybody going crazy over the van. What I do with my keys? Okay, cool. Can't lock the keys in the van. Sheesh. <clears throat> Drinking water too fast and choked the hell out of myself. <clears throat> Sheesh, bro. <laughs> I'm wildin', y'all. We back, though, man. We made it back. Got them loads on loads. <clears throat> Once again. Damn, I almost took myself out trying to drink, <clears throat> trying to drink water too fast. Sheesh. Man. I don't know why I'm tired as hell today. I ain't gonna cap. But it's time to get to work though. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no time for being tired. The grind don't stop. Let me see if I can hit this light. Get, it might get a little boost. Get a little boost. <laughs> Damn, I done lost my light remote. <laughs> so this is what we gonna do. Cause you can't see nothing with this right here. <clears throat> Move this out my way so y'all can really see what's going on. Nation, we back. Bags on bags on bags, man. We got them pound bags back here. Super, super jump on uh, jumbo bag. I don't know. I'm gonna took myself out trying to drink water too fast and choke hell out myself. That's why I'm clearing my throat. <laughs> Still catching my breath. But yeah, man, we loaded down. You know what I'm saying? It's probably about three thousand dollars worth of blank apparel. Feel good to manifest what you want in life and see it come true. You know what I mean? Down, down to the van coming to life, to orders coming in left and right, to just the whole vision just coming to life, man. So, yeah, we got hella merch right here that we got to print. We're going to bring my homeboy brand back to life. I printed some of his stuff before. If you go back into my videos, you can find his brand. Y'all get to see these new designs and then y'all get to see exactly what brand I'm talking about once I take everything on the inside and we cook up. But, yeah. It's actually a mix, though, because I got some stuff that's my stuff in here as well that's going to be Create a Nation for the latest release. And then I also got some stuff for another client. So it's a little bit of their stuff, but mainly it's for this one big order. And I still got to go to, like, two other spots tomorrow and pick up even more apparel for this same order. And I got some orders that's being shipped in. So there's not even everything. So it's going to be a minute before we, you know, jump into this video. You know what I mean? I got to get all the uh, gear and stuff together. But once we jump into it, we gonna cook up something crazy. And I'm gonna let y'all see how we gonna build these brands and how y'all can get y'all brand built up and work with me. You know what I'm saying? So <clears throat> that's what we on.
teamwork make the dream work. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm really just showing y'all. Teamwork make the dream work. I know my camera's shaking. I'm using the phone right now with my hand. No tripod, no none of that, no gimbal. Outside, man, picking up packs. Picking up packs, getting gas. I ain't getting nothing but a 12. This is the reality of it. <laughs> teamwork with the dream work though, man. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to have these vans pulling up like this. And my boys hopping out, you know what I mean, doing their thing on spots like this. And then they going to people's houses and printing shirts and all of it. Signs, you know what I'm saying? The whole nine. But yeah, man, I had to catch these boys doing their thing. Teamwork make the dream work. You know what I'm saying? You see them boys getting getting it done, putting them banners up on stores. People might not know as they work when they ride by, but they know. You know what I'm saying? They got paid. That's all that matter. <laughs> Yeah, man, we moving around. Heat wave van. Y'all know what's going on. Van life, van life. Picked up some more packs. We're about to go back and bust all these open so we can get to this brand and then this building of my boy brand, like I've been telling y'all. So, one time for the inflatable dance, man. You know what I'm saying? First stop to get some food first. Pick up these DTL transfers and then we're about to get to work, y'all. Definitely finna get to work. Day two. <laughs> this video gonna be wild as hell, y'all, because every time i record it's like a random time but we back again i picked up some more uh pieces that i needed so we're gonna actually do some printing today and jump into some printing on this branding for this brand or whatever <laughs> y'all gonna have to follow this video it's probably gonna be like a two three part video so yeah man i know these first few clips i'm all over the place because i've been doing it it's been two days since i recorded this but yeah we got the dollar tree shopping you know what i mean you know your boy gonna go crazy at dollar tree every time and then when i picked up a box today and I picked up a bag today of some gear. And then I got some more gear in here, of course, right here. Y'all can see. So, yeah, man, we're cooking up nonstop. Time to get into it, though. We're going to go ahead and go in here and show y'all what I got. I done already broke the bags down. Got me some fruit. I uh, mean, got a lot of stuff going on, man. We're going to have some fun today. So, I'm back in the lab. Y'all know your boy stay shopping, man. There be stuff everywhere. <laughs> got to keep these around, you know what I mean? Keep these to keep everybody clothes fresh. Nobody still smell like glue, adhesive, uh, you know, body odor, <laughs> smoke, nothing. Like, got me some padded uh, envelopes to ship these orders out for a client that I do drop shipping for. Now, I mean, we got some little bath bathroom essentials from Dollar Tree. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know I got a print on it. So, I got these just because my bathroom naked in the uh, creator bathroom. So, we're going to go ahead and stamp these up. I'm thinking I'm going to probably put, like, infinity symbol on the front. Probably just infinity symbols. Simple. Keep it simple. I don't really see no point of putting creator. If I do creator, it has to be down the side like this, but infinity symbols for sure. So I'm going to do all four of those in a second. You know what I mean? Got vinyl steel from yesterday that I ain't even moved from yesterday. <laughs> still been in the same spot. What we got right here, man? Got some gear. Let's see what we got. Can you bust it open? Hold on. Hold on. Let's see what we got, y'all. Crack these packs open. And y'all gonna hear some noise too, because Uncle now on his phone, so. Never mind that little background noise from the TV in the other room. You know how we be. We be doing our thing. So. Oh, these the women tees. Okay, cool. That's perfect. So them all the women tees. Hold up, bro. I know I didn't order all white and black. Ain't no one here. Oh, you know what? I forgot. Some of them coming from a different location. So I'm like, hold up. Ain't no way I ordered all white and black. Okay, because this 11. Yeah, that's right. All right, this 11. Okay. And it's supposed to be 40 T's and all. So yeah, this 11 out of the 40. Waiting on the rest of the colors to come. But we got these so far. So that's what they, these are. These are like some raglan uh, crop tees. For women, they call belly, they belly canvas, they call, matter of fact, I'm tripping, they right here. So they belly canvas 1201 women's micro rear raglan baby tee. And I'm waiting, I got to order the small and medium because they didn't have none. And then I ordered some in white and red and white and green. So when them come, you know, we're going to be able to do them. So this is for the order that I was telling y'all, we're going to go bust all the stuff over. And then I'm going to let y'all know how much this order is worth, you know, how much everything cost that I had to buy for the order and all that good stuff. But yeah, right now, them, it's 11 out of 41, and we're going to crack this other box open. I got some stuff in here that's going to go crazy. 
about to go crazy. Got me a brand new pair of scissors. You know what I'm saying? From Dollar Tree. <laughs> Dollar Tree is saving lives, bro. I hate that they ain't a dollar twenty five no more, but it's all good. We still gonna go in there and spend. The, I mean, they ain't a dollar no more, but we gonna still spend that buck twenty five with them. This box can come in handy too. Ship some out. Ship some cups out. What we got? What we got? I'm gonna make sure I show y'all everything that I'm getting too. So here we go, y'all. We got the uh hold on, let me hit the light. Hit that light for y'all. The comfort colors, 1717 garment, garment dyed heavyweight tees. So that's one of my favorite tees. That's what I use for a lot of my white tees and stuff. We got uh a women jersey tee that I found on here. We're gonna see what that's about. I think I bought two, right? Yeah, I bought two and then one in black. So, yeah, we're going to see what that's about. And I bought me some duffel bags because I suppose the band got those. So, it's something like it. it ain't nothing crazy. Two duffels. You know what I'm saying? Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Two little duffel bags that I had. Oh, no. Actually, I never dropped the solid black ones. So, this is going to be a new drop, actually. But one of them I'm going to use for DOA. And one of them I'm going to use for creator. We're going to sit these over here, though. We got that heat. These tees so nice, bro. What's this? Okay, so this the women's pieces. Let's see what this about, bro. Oh, they kind of big, though. Small, medium. I don't know about this. <laughs> this too big. This thing look huge. This is small, medium. It must be for like... Damn. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Yeah, what? I'm going to give them to somebody. I'm going to let my auntie see them. She might can do something with them. Or my mom or somebody might can do something with them. Yeah, I can't. I can do something with them, but if this is a small medium, like this is huge. Like, who the hell is small medium for? Is this plus size? You know, no knock on that. I'm just saying, like, I was expecting the small medium to be like, I don't know what I was expecting. Whatever. Either way, we got those and we got a black version. So, oh no, this is a black tee. I'm tripping that. We got a black version. Look at a black version. Here they go. Okay, so. Yeah, I don't know why these so big, but if this is small, medium, then this really is probably like a fit for somebody who can wear a medium, large. If you ask me, I wouldn't say that's a small, medium. We got them comfort color tees, y'all. These so hard. These are some of my favorite go-to tees. This is how the tag look. Let me show y'all up close and personal. You know what I'm saying? Heavyweight tees. They nice, I ain't gonna lie. They not gilded. They not, they, you know, the regular. This is what I use when I want to charge a little more for my tees. Got the thick collar and all of that. So, yeah, I'm about to print my samples and my new designs on this. So, this is what y'all going to get. This is like a $7 t-shirt right here before I even print on it. So, it's definitely a big difference from like a gilding or a, 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 a what you call it, jerseys or panes or something like that. But no knock on those. I use those too. I'm just saying these right here are when I use for like premium tees. So, we lit. And the white one's so clean. Look how clean these white ones look, bro. Comfort colors. Oh shit. No. Nope. <laughs> comfort colors. I got too excited. So y'all can see it's true white. Thick collar. Now you can really tell. Heavy. And they ain't even really that heavy, but I would say they like a little under shocker wear. That's what I would think. These probably like a little bit right up under shocker wear. Shocker wear tees way more because they more heavy. They probably like an ounce less or an ounce and a half less in weight. Yeah, it's my personal. <laughs> hey, we lit, bro. Got all the tees. And an extra box. On to the other side. I caught this in Dollar Tree. This was the last one, too. <laughs> I just be getting some stuff just because, bro. It's in the Dollar Tree. It's $1.25. It's like a little crossbody bag. Some that I can use. Similar to these. Only difference is this. You know, look more a little utility. If they had a bunch of them, I would have bought a bunch of them. But I bought this when I'm on a bike or something. Hey, perfect, bro. Throw it around my neck. So, you know, I'm going to stamp me a creator logo on there. Got to do it. Matter of fact, we can sit that over here because this is easy. Regular vinyl. Boom, boom. I'm going to put infinity symbol right there. Creator up there. Keep it simple. Yeah, man. We're going crazy. <laughs> what else we got? Okay, so them duffels. Y'all can really check them duffels out. Duffels. We got what these is, oh, some black crew. Oh, yeah, here go my T-shirts that we finna print on. We can't print on today, though, because the, the DTF transfers wasn't ready, but this is a boxy tee. So look at this. 
boxy like crop style tee, heavyweight tee. This is small, so this is my personal one. I probably never wear this because I don't really like how them tees fit on me, but it's definitely going to look good when I put that uh, Donald Trump picture on it with Kamala. And then we got the brown one too, you know what I'm saying? So the only one I got to go back and get is the uh, the green one. I'm going to go back and get that tomorrow. And then we lit, you know what I'm saying? That'll be all three samples. So that's that. We got the buckets. I got them laying here to throw people off like I got all three unprinted, but really it's just one printed. <laughs> I got some blanks. Got a few of them. Been grabbing everything, but I got the jeans. I got hella uh, dad caps. I meant trucker cap, the denim. Got some, found these in the closet, still brand new. <laughs> the new jeans. These are the new jeans. It's finna drop, so. Yeah, bro, I've been loading up, man, as y'all can see. As y'all can see. And last but not least, here we are. Something dope that I thought would be very cool. So y'all know I got one up here. <laughs> Look at this, bro. I done found these in Dollar Tree in the back. Somewhere in the cut. I'm going to go buy the rest of them. I really forgot to buy the rest of them. Because I had done got carried away getting so much stuff. But yeah, look at this. So y'all know I'm going to put a little infinity symbol or something in the middle of the rim. And put creator on here. And boom, now we got jerseys, bro. We, I mean, we got... <laughs> I'm talking about jerseys. Now we got basketball uh, goals. Little portable ones. And I only got this because in my van, I said one day I want to have it hooked to my van. And let people take shots for like free shirts off the mobile van. So that's why this came in handy. This was dope, but... Once I saw it, I was like, man, I can't just get one. I got to get all of them. They a buck 25. Come on. So I grabbed like five or six. They probably got like 10 more. I'm going to go back and buy all of them. I ain't going to cap. <laughs> but I had to see how I'm going to do them first. So I got enough, you know, one, two, you know what I'm saying? Three. I think I might. I thought I got five. Damn, four. So I ain't get five. Damn, I thought I got five of them. I got four. Got me some rubber bands because I be needing those. Yeah, bro, it's lit. Never mind the little games. I got these for my little cuz. Little nigga be lying here. I want you to know he's still a kid. I got these for my little cuz. <laughs> no, nah, I bought these just to hell around, though. Why not? <laughs> it was a dollar. But yeah, man, we in here. Let's go in here and check out this real gear, though. So let me show y'all what we finna cook up. Whew. Boy, boy, boy. That right there, and like right. I know that shit super right on camera. Nation, I done finally made it to this room, man. It's about to go down, as y'all can see. We got a, a hell of a week ahead of us. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. This not even everything. Like, it's still more stuff coming, bro. Y'all see what's going on, bro. We in here. It's about to be a hell of a week. I can tell you that it's Saturday. It's gonna be a hell of a weekend for starters, but. I'm about to go ahead and try to get ahead of the curve with all of these packs. Bro, it's packs on packs on packs, man. And it's going down. So, yeah, my boy's back in his bag. You know what I'm saying? We back working. I'm glad my boy back. It feel good to see a lot of my day ones really coming back. You know what I mean? Some of them ain't day ones. But, you know, they've been around from, from a, a good point of the grind way before where it's sitting now. So, I'm just glad to see a lot of them getting back in their bag and a lot of people starting to get their brands back in order and then they having real fun in this time so it's like you know it's up this time like we going crazy with brands so a lot of the brands that y'all gonna see me doing y'all gonna see me working with often and some of the stuff i'm gonna post you know what i mean uh, what they allow me to share because some people don't want this stuff shared but what they will allow me to share i'm gonna share and then some stuff will probably be members only but for the most part bro we in here right now this order that i'm doing costed 4126 dollars total that's including the printing and all the merch. So this total, everything that, well, like I said, everything not in here. I still got some packages that's coming Monday, but everything that you see in here, plus what's coming Monday was $4,126. And that's just on all of the blank apparel. And then that's on what they paid me to print it. So, you know, that's not my takeaway, of course. I wish I could walk away with the whole 4126 but I can't. But I'm going to break down my takeaway before the video is over, you know what I mean? Let y'all know what I got out of it. But I'm still crunching the numbers as we go because I'm still buying vinyl and stuff on my end to see what I got to use to print everything. So once I finalize these designs on this gear and stuff, bro, that's when we're going to make these moves. Like as soon as I finalize these designs, that's what I'm in here doing right now. I came on in here to sit down with y'all, let y'all know that it's possible to run it up. You can make good money from your crib. You can make good money from your garage. You can make good money starting out. If you get good at what you're doing, bro, people will pay. So 
that's what's happening, bro. Y'all, y'all done seen me on this journey if you've been watching, especially for those who've been subscribed for a while. Y'all done seen me on this journey, bro. It's been a long journey. I have my ups and downs. Y'all done seen me make good money. Y'all done seen it uh, kind of get slow. Y'all might didn't know it was slow because I ain't get online saying it's slow. But, <laughs> yeah, I done had my fair share moments, bro. But we here now. Everything is starting to pay off. Everything is starting to take off. And I'm enjoying it, bro. I ain't going to leave a lie. I'm enjoying reaping the benefits. <laughs> So, we got some women pieces. We got some men pieces. All in all, we got about... Mm, how many pieces do we have? Damn, I don't even know. I ain't gonna even count. Like, realistically, this is gonna be at least probably like a three... Ah, not even a three. This is gonna be a week job, for real. For This is gonna take me one week because I do got other orders and I have to kind of balance it out. But this is going to take one week. And the only reason I say a week is because I got to print all of this stuff. We're going to put size tags and everything that's here that can uh, have size tags in it. We're going to, um, what? Let me try to think. Some of it is front and back. I'm trying to think. Oh, I'm doing socks. All that is extra. I got some hats that's not here. Like I said, some tees is not here. So it's going to be a lot of printing. But like I said, from the size tags to the actual printing, we're doing DTF. We're doing uh, high density printing. We doing some, is there any puff in this? No, not puff. We doing flock. So we doing some suede. Like it's a lot. It's like five different designs, bro. So yeah, this is going to be one of the ones we're going to take by the week. And also I'm helping him set up his website, get content. Y'all know I got to get pictures, video, the whole nine, bro. So guess what? This is going to be about a three-part video probably, at least two parts. And y'all got to just tap in and stay tuned with me. So man, y'all watch this video and see how it come about, bro. And I'm explaining everything that I'm doing. Y'all gonna get as much game as I can give. Yeah, that's what it is. We're gonna bust some of these packs open. And right now, I got my DTF transfer that I uh, gotta use. So we're gonna bust these open. We're about to go in and see what some of these prints like. And then also, <laughs> I got some heat. Ooh, I ain't even gonna tell y'all yet. I might make the hey, this might be this cook-up session gonna be about five parts, bro. Sheesh. Okay, so is this whole thing, let me see. Yeah, I got a lot going on in here. <laughs> Dang. I forgot to bring the scissors. If you know my channel and you've been watching my content, you know about these clowns. My boy been going crazy, bro. My boy done did real numbers. I done dropped my numbers so that he can do better and get more profit margin in. Yeah, man, we've been going crazy with these clown designs. I know y'all probably done saw me do these on camera at least two or three times, maybe four or five. So it's good to see my boy doing this thing, man. His brain really be doing them, bro. I got some clients that are really out here working, y'all. And it was a time where I ain't have none. Hold on, bro. Did they just put all these? Okay, there we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Woo! It's going down. Oh, shit. Hold up, 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 hold up. Y'all don't get to see that yet. No, man. No, I'm saving that for another video, bro. We finna get to working on breast stuff. That's that heat. Damn. Woo-hoo-hoo. I gotta, that's, I gotta save that for a separate video. What's this? Okay, this is his stuff right here, right? All right, baby, hold up, bro. I got some of that creative nation heat in here, bro. I can't let y'all see it. I got samples, man. I got merch coming, giveaway coming. We done hit 6,000 subscribers, bro. I didn't even get to announce the 5,000 subscriber giveaway yet. And I've been trying to, but it's been going so crazy. So, look like we're going to have to do it at 6,000 now since we already at six. Damn. Life is crazy when it starts blowing up. It's like, wow. This is crazy. It's overwhelming right now, y'all. Like, it's overwhelming because it's not even half. Like, I got probably like 10 orders already lined up for the week, for real, for real. This is out of hand. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I'm trying to overload so much on work that y'all will see I need help. And then my tribe will find me, bro, and come help me. You know, help me help them. And everybody, we're going to run it up. We're going to have fun. We're going to get money. We're going to be on our spiritual tip. We're going to be healthy. We're going to be all that. We're going to go crazy non-stop, so. And here, look at this. This is what we're about to work on right here. This is the design we're going to cook up right now. So, what I'm about to do is just show him a sample right quick. 
But I feel like since I'm already unrolling these, bro, I might as well just go in and do a crazy chop fest right quick, bro. Chop all these on up. I'm not about to record this whole process. I'll get some and probably let it speed through just because, you know, might as well. But, yeah, I got to chop all this up, y'all. It's going to be a minute. This is a lot of transfers. Like, do I even have to explain, bro? All these are the same size. So yeah, let me let me cut these up right quick. And then we're gonna jump into some samples. Damn, boy, I've been going crazy. Woo! Yes, sir. So yeah, man, I'ma just cut these on up. Cut all these on up and go crazy. Oh, I forgot. We got shirts in the bag, bro. It's so much, bro. Like, and then you gotta include all my stuff. We got four, five packs of socks. You can't even really tell how much stuff it is. Like I said, stuff's still coming in the mail all week. I still got more blanks and stuff. I'm going to go pick up for uh, Create a Nation brand, bro. I'm printing like five. It's so much, bro. It's crazy. I, I I love this shit. I can't even cap. Like New backdrops are finding way. I've been saying it for the longest, but they on the way for real. I can't even do nothing. I got photo shoots lined up. I can't even do nothing. So, yeah, I got the white backdrops. I done ordered them off Amazon, man. Hopefully, they make it this week. And Yeah, bro. Let me go ahead and just get in and cut this out. I just had to show y'all how, how real it is in here right quick. And also, I had to show y'all this up close. Look at that. Look how clear it is. work <laughs> look at that though first sample coming to life so this the front of one right here already it seemed like the music just got so loud in there bro i don't know what's going on <laughs> but yeah this the first sample this the front of how one of them gonna look so i got all the transfers uh trimmed up i got all them trimmed up we got all them trimmed up this the last row right here or whatever it's crazy damn blazing up in here y'all Said it's blazing. Hold on, I'm praying with the door open. This summer heat ain't no joke, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like people think it's a game. Is he pressing joke? Is he pressing? Uh, is he pressing making lose weight? <laughs> this ain't no game, bro. You gotta be a real beast to be able to have this summer heat and press all the summer, 320, 330 degrees Fahrenheit. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be a beast. You can't, this ain't for no chumps. Trust me, this shit get real hot. And like, boy, I'll be coming out this shirt in a minute. But now nah, we in here, bro. Y'all already know it's DTF, so it ain't nothing special about it as far as pressing it. It ain't nothing I need to teach y'all. I mean, if you're a new person here and you don't know, then yeah, I guess I could say I probably need to teach y'all. But for the most part, for my nation members who've been rocking, y'all already know what's up. We ain't doing that special. We just about to press this on here for about 10 to 15 seconds. And then we're gonna peel it back once it cool off and we're gonna let them see the design. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the back design. So we're gonna put this right here on the back, this right here on the front, and it's going down, man. And then we're gonna do the other shirt. And then once I send him pictures of this with the front and back, and the other shirt with the front, I'm gonna go ahead and load up the back design and I'm gonna cut out the back for the shirt because that's gonna be in suede and vinyl. So we're gonna put that in the suede and vinyl. And then I'm going to send them pictures of, uh, you know, both of them front and back. Those two designs will be out my way. And then I got to finalize the short. So I don't know how much I'm going to get done in this video because it's getting late. And I got a lot going on right now. But I do want to pop this on out and let y'all know what's going on. So we got a 4,121, I mean, damn, $4,126 order. Off this order, I want to say my takeaway is anywhere from 1000 to 1700 I don't have that exact number yet. But by the time we finish this cookup, you know what I mean? Y'all will get to know the exact number. But yeah, this order was $4,126 worth of merch. He got all in all about over 100 outfits total. Loose socks, like 50 pair of socks. I'm doing him a free uh, sleeve of cups. I threw some trucker caps in off the strength. I'm going to print custom poly bags for this order. I'm going to print uh, custom 
tote bags for this order. What else? Uh, we're going to set up his website. We're going to bring his website back. I'm going to create a mock-up collections. So we're going to have all the mock-ups and uh, collections for his website. Basically, the whole nine, bro. Everything that you can think of when starting out a brand, we're going to do it on our end. And I'm going to document it and show y'all. And he actually planning on starting YouTube. So if my boy start YouTube, shit, y'all know what it is. He's going to start a YouTube. Y'all going to get to see it from his perspective eventually. So, yeah, that's what it is, man. I'm hoping I can get everybody on board. I'm hoping I can shed some light on how this print thing go and how you can make it from your crib, you know what I'm saying, with just a heat press, a vinyl cutter, some transfers, different type of material, and some drive, you know what I mean? You got some drive, you can go crazy. So, that's what it is, bro. I ain't gonna worry about too much. We're gonna go ahead and print this first part right quick and make this happen, man. Bring the life for my dog. Bring this to life for my dog, man. You know what I'm saying? I be bringing stuff to life, bro, and I love it. Love what I do. When you know what you do, it's easy, bro. It's a cakewalk. And you get paid for it? Man, I can't lie. This has been the best year. Since the pandemic popped off, this has been the best year I've had. This year and maybe 2020. Nah, this has been the best year. I don't even want to talk about them other years. Like, it's been a grind, you know, it ain't been all bad, but just 2024, man, it's been one of the ones, bro. Like, I'm taking over. <laughs> I'm taking off. And it's all thanks to y'all and everybody that's been supporting me on all my platforms and just the whole thing. And just me grinding so hard, like I said, sticking to my word, staying consistent, doing as much work as possible, putting out as much content as I can for uh, me and my, you know, small little circle. And just the whole nine, bro. Like, the fact that it's coming to life, my whole vision and, and so much stuff been happening behind the scenes that I haven't even shared yet that's been working out for me. Like, bro, shit is crazy. I done got my passport, y'all. It's up. Hope y'all ready for these travel vlogs because we're going out of town, overseas, in the city. It's going to be a city tour. It's going to be a tour around the states. It's going to be a tour around the world. Man, I'm bringing this shit everywhere, bro. It's going down, bro. Like, for real. Like, I can't even explain all of it. Just know it's about to happen, and y'all gonna get to witness some greatness. And you know, I'm gonna remain humble through it all. That's what, that's the goal, and we're gonna get this money. We're gonna help as many people as we can. And that's what it is, you know what I'm saying? Cooking up. Might as well flip this on on the back and do the back. Damn, I must just wait. This is crazy. He's gonna be like, oh yeah, bro, that's it right there, bro. That's it, bro. That's all I wanted, bro. <laughs> That's it, man. Appreciate you, my boy. I appreciate you, my boy. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro, gonna be like, oh yeah. That's it. That's it, right now. I already know, man. I do this. Like, I do this, and I hope that I can get some of y'all to do this and see. It ain't too hard, but it can get tricky. But you know, repetition, man. The more you do it, the better you get. Practice make perfect. Even if you never perfect. The more you practice, the closer you get to being perfect. So, hey, you might can't get not 100%, but you can get to 99.8. <laughs> That's damn near perfect. Good enough. This is crazy, bro. Yeah, this is hard, bro. And I'm glad that being that it's DTF, what I try to tell people about DTF is... It don't feel like paper or nothing like that if you put it on heavy garments and you try to stay away from like super big solid designs. So like, you know, you gotta try to, uh, what you call it? Um, I can't think of the word for it right now, bro. I can't think of the word for it right now, but I'm gonna show y'all what I'm talking about with the other shirt as far as exactly what I'm trying to explain. I can't think of the word right now. But yeah, man, DTF, I would say, if you wanna do DTF, it's better for heavy garments, heavy tees, crew neck, stuff like that, where even if it is a little thick on the garment, it's not going to feel crazy on you because the garment's so heavy, you don't feel the vinyl or the DTF, rather, the transfer. But, you know, I'm just giving y'all a little game. That's why these are going on these crew neck, heavyweight, uh, heavyweight sun-dried tees or whatever, sun-dried crew necks, I mean. 
going down though, man. It's crazy. And this is not going to feel extra thick on there because the words are spaced out. It got gaps in between the design and all that. But this is not the design to show you. I got to show y'all another one. Let's get this money. Let's get this money. Every time. You know your boy going to come through every time, y'all. Every time. Ooh. Look at that. Look at that. Yes, sir. Let's go. Let's go. That's going to be so clean. And then, like I said, he, the only part on this design that's kind of thick, like, and then even with this, it still got little gaps. So the less, you know, solid the design is, the better it is for anything. But I definitely wouldn't really use DTF on, like, thin tees. I like to use it on stuff like this. Thick, heavy. Like, y'all can tell. Look at this. You can tell how thick this is in the quality. Like, this ain't no thin garment. I wish I could tell y'all how much GSM it is, but I can't remember off the back of my head. But I'll tell y'all once I go look it up somewhere in this video. Uh, it's going to be like three parts, like I said. But look at the detail on that. Mm, 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 mm. Let's get it, man. Let's flip it over and peel the back off. That back. Crazy. Mm, 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 mm. What? Look at that detail. See what I'm saying? When you do designs like this, DTF not going to feel as thick because it's just like if it was vinyl words. But with vinyl, you're not going to get this type of detail. So that's why DTF is taking over and doing what it's doing. But yeah, this is crazy right here, bro. This is crazy. It's so smooth right now. But of course, y'all know we got to press it again because we don't want that smooth feel. We need that texture to not be like that at all. You know what I'm saying? But that's hard. You can't tell me that ain't hard. What? We just went stupid. Let's go. No, we gotta press it some more. Can't have it feeling all smooth. Cause like you can tell, look how that looks shiny down here. And you see like them little specks in it. That's how I be knowing when the DTF not pressed all the way. Cause if you look up here, you can kind of see the texture from the Teflon sheet and it's flat and it done kind of melted it in more. So it's like, we ain't worrying about nothing coming off. Plus my DTF provider A1, you know what I'm saying? But. Eventually, I'm about to be doing my own thing. So y'all better get ready because I'm going to be really doing drop shipping soon. But we here, bro. I got to press like down here, this half, and this other side. Like I said, when you got a bigger press, you can do more. But we got this 15 by 15, and we're making this shape, making thousands off this 15 by 15, you know? Some days, we're only making tens, man. But it's all good, though. <laughs> okay, so this the design I was talking about right here. When I was saying, when you make a design, so like on the white tee, it's going to have a black background and it's going to have an outline. So it is going to be kind of thick on the white tee. But that's why he put these on heavy tees too, as y'all can see. Let me let y'all see what we doing, man. Heavy garments, heavy garments. You know what I'm saying? Heavyweight t-shirts. So it's going to feel better. You know what I mean? It ain't going to feel all crazy and thick on the shirt because, you know, you got something. It's a thicker shirt, basically. It ain't going to feel like no damn block of paper. But either way, they transfer. don't normally feel like that anyway. But I had to show y'all. So y'all see how this design is? Basically, it's fully transparent. Because it's going on a black tee and the background is supposed to be black anyway. So now when I put it on here, boom, the black is filled in by the shirt versus it being filled in by like the actual, you know, some actual black. But I'm doing this sample for because I don't know if this is what he want, but this is how it's supposed to look. This is how they send it. Now I did make the one for the white tee with the black stroke around it and it fills in all the black and make it actual jet black. So, you know, to each his own. We're going to see how this turn out, man. We're going to see how he like it. But I think this is dope. This is one of them ones, I ain't gonna lie. This thing gonna be crazy, I can tell. This is about to be lit. It don't stop, nation. It do not stop. Y'all yeah, know that. Gotta make sure I hit it all over though, because it's a jumbo design. So we gotta make sure we get each and every side. So I'm pressing like five seconds first, like five to seven seconds right quick. So I don't overheat because I'm going to have to press it again anyway. So we're going to do that and go flip it around. Catch this bottom. You know what I'm saying? Catch this bottom. Get them wrinkles up out of there. And then we just got to get this little edge right here and then we good. Oh, Slide that over. Catch that edge. Sheesh. 
Sheesh. See what we working with. It's crazy right here, y'all. I ain't gonna cap you down. That's too crazy. That is not gonna be fire, especially now that it's pressed. It's like it, bro. I should have. Nah, it would. He would. He would have wanted to do it though. This design would have been hard and reflective. DTF. I ain't gonna cap. Reflective DTF. What? I gotta tell him we gotta do at least one special when it reflect the DTF for real. Cause this design is perfect for it. Now that it's pressed down, you can see how it lit up. Man, it's crazy. What do we peel this back? This one of them ones right here, y'all. Look at that. Peel. Mm, 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 man. DTF's changing the game. That's too crazy. Damn. So now y'all can see what I'm talking about, how the design is transparent. So all of this is all shirt. Now, if this was just all black colored in like ink when they printed it, it'd be more thick on there because it'd be, all this would be DTF transfer. But being that it's not, and all of this is transparent, you know, the design is not going to be as heavy on the shirt. So it's going to be light, you know what I'm saying? Lightweight design. It ain't too crazy. All this is still shirt. And now you don't have to worry about it being burning up hot and feeling like paper. Then we're going to press it again, you know what I'm saying? But all in all, man, this is crazy. This shirt design, fire, bro. And my bro who cooked it up a beast. This came out exactly like the image. Very clear. DTF for the win. Let's get it, y'all. Let's get it. All right, now, I got to do these shorts in the back of this tee. But for now, I'm about to just send him the picture there because I know he ready to see some type of samples. He ain't even been that long, but I just like to kind of keep people updated, so... About to go on the sim the front of this and the back of this. This is a whole piece right here, minus me got to put the tag on the inside. So that's a story for, you know, towards the end. We're going to print everything first. We'll come back with the tag. But yeah, I'm about to send him a picture and see what he think. I think he's going to like it. And then after that, I'll come back, cut a, uh, cut the back logo out for that. And then we're going to go ahead and do the two pair of shorts, a pair of shorts to match these and a pair of shorts to match both of these since I already done did two of them or whatever. And yeah, bro, we're going to get off that, and then we're going to jump into some of these female pieces, which are these right here. So, yeah. But we basically just going to print on these bottoms right here, whatever. And yeah, man, it's going down. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm.